Okay, we're looking at uh, dividend imputation. Some people have had issues with this, so I thought I'd run through it again. Basically, dividend imputation is where the company pays tax at the tax rate and then gets accredited to the person who owns the shares. So if you think about it, we've got a company here that makes a whole bucket of a lot of money. And because you're a shareholder, you are entitled to have part of that money. Okay, you share it. So it comes down to you. But because this is profit, because this is profit here, they've got to pay tax. Okay? And the company tax rate is at 30%, which means that they pay 30% flat rate across all the money that they made, all their profit. And then when it comes to you, that tax has already been paid at 30%. So when you get the money down here, your tax rate might be something like 42%. But they've already paid tax at 30%. So there's got to be a method where you can calculate how much tax you owe or how much tax you are owed if you earn, if your tax rate is less than 30%. So let's have a look and see how that works. You've got this example, which we've had a look at before, where uh, the div per share is this, the number of shares that you own is this, the franked amount is there, and the imputation credit's there. Franked amount is just the 2530 times by 0 0.15. That gives us that. Okay, so it's just your, your dividend that you get paid. Now from that, that's the profit. Okay, that's the profit that's been paid. They've got to take 30% off for tax. So what they do is they get that number there and times it by 30 over 70. So that one goes 30 over 70 and it becomes that. Because that's the company tax rate, that 30% there. Okay, so that's what happens. That happens all behind the background, so you don't know it. You just get a sheet like this, and it tells you that your frank demand is that, and this is your imputation credit. So for the tax department, what they do is they go, okay, how much money have you earned? What is your income? So your income declared, declared is how much money you've got in. So that is your, you've got $379.50 in your pocket. But also, on your behalf, $162.64 has been paid to the tax department. So what that means is that, on paper, you have earned $542.14. Okay, so that's what the tax department looks at when it says, okay, how much have you earned? It doesn't really matter that the 162 has gone off somewhere else, but that's what they've done. Now let's pretend that you are at a 17% tax rate. So that's you. You have a 17% tax rate, so you pay 17% on all you earn. So theoretically, what that means is, of that $542.14, you should have only been paying at 17 cents in the dollar. Okay? Which gives you $92.16. So that's how much tax you should have paid. But an imputation credit means that this amount has been paid on your behalf. So you should only be paying $92, but the tax department has, pay, has taken $162.64 from you because the company has paid that on your behalf. So you, you are entitled to a refund because you should have, you should have paid $92.16, but they have sent off on your behalf $162.64. So therefore you should get a refund from the tax department on this at $70.48. Okay? Because remembering that the imputation credit here that goes off to the tax department, they just send it at 30%. Okay? They don't worry about what you've earned or whatever, they just change it at 30%. Because your tax rate is lower than that, at 17% here, you get to have a refund. What happens? though, if they are not fully franked, because we've talked about fully franked shares. Fully franked shares are when they've been paid, tax has been paid at 30%. What happens when the company says, oh yeah, we're going to give you a 50% franking? Which means, oops, franking. Which means that tax has only been paid on this bit. This is the only bit that the tax gets paid on, not the unfranked about. So, this will be the 330 times by 30 over 70 will give you your imputation credit, the amount of money that goes off to the tax department. So all you do is you grab your 330 
and you times it by 30 over 70, and you'll get 141.42, or 141.42. Okay, so that's how much has gone off to the tax department on your behalf. Now, once again, to work out whether you owe money or whatever that kind of stuff, you've got to go through this process of the income declared. How much have you earned? Now, it's what's in this box here, add this box here, add this box here. So it's 330, add 330, add 141.43. That gives you your income declared. Okay, this is how much money the tax department thinks you have. So it's 330 plus 330 plus 141.43. So your income declared on the tax form is $801.43. But they have only sent off $141.43. Okay, because it's 50% franked, half goes in here half in there. And that comes from those two times together. Okay, so that equals 6,000, like that. So that's 50% there, 50% there, that's where you get your franking from. So your income declared is 801. Now what happens if, say, you're on 42% is your tax rate? Okay, if that's your tax rate, then theoretically, you should be paying 42% of, of that, 801.43. Now, that comes to a grand total of 3.36.60. Okay, so you should be paying, that's how much tax you should be paying. Okay, but remember, on your behalf, this imputation credit has already been paid. So, instead of paying the full 3.36, you've got 3.36 that you should be paying. You've already paid 141.43, or the company's paid on your behalf. So that means that you've got a grand total, you've got a bit of a balance you've got to pay because you haven't quite paid enough um, of $195.17. Okay? So imputation credit reduces the tax you pay or even gives you a refund depending on your tax rate.